Hey traders, before we get into the video, we got to take care of the legal stuff here. Uh, feel free to pause the video if you'd like to read the disclaimer. Uh, basically what it says is I am not a financial advisor. Everything contained in this video is for educational purposes only. The information contained in this video is not an invitation or advice to buy, sell, or trade any specific security. You should be aware of all of the risks associated with securities trading and seek advice from an independent financial advisor prior to executing any trades. Now, if you do choose to trade based off of any information in this video, you do so at your own risk. Now, with that out of the way, let's jump into the content. Hey guys, what's up? It's Ace coming to you October 2nd, 7.37 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I hope you guys are all doing well. <laughs> I know it's been a while, guys. I got to apologize. I seem to open up all my videos with telling you all that I've been busy with family and work and and just uh, life in general, and it's been no different. Um, but I've been thinking about you guys, been thinking about my YouTube family, uh, how you guys are doing on your trading journey. Uh, I have been wanting to go ahead and put out uh, the content that I have. I do have a ton of content and even more coming after this video. Uh, things that, like I said, have just kept me busy. But I've been thinking about you guys on your trading journey, and I wanted to bring to you something that would really, really help you out. Um, it's called divergence trading and divergences uh, within the market. Now, you know, this may seem like a complicated concept and it really isn't although a lot of things in the market I think are overly complicated I think people try to do that to raise the bar to entry for regular people to just understand how these concepts work what I'm gonna do here is break this down and I'm gonna make this super easy to understand so you guys can actually add this into your trading arsenal and the good thing about divergences guys is that in a lot of cases these can actually be a leading indicator if you want to say or a leading uh, trading methodology to where price action might go on a chart okay Okay, super exciting stuff. So without further ado, let's just jump into it and uh, get started. So in this graphic, what is going on here? Well, we're this purple dude right here in the middle. And of course, we have our indicator pulling us in one direction and price pulling us in the other direction. OK, and you guys might be saying, well, you know, how are you going to trade that ace? I mean, if your price is telling you to do one thing and the indicator is telling you to do the opposite, how do you trade in this kind of a situation? Well, Really, guys, the logic behind divergences is that sometimes indicators, which is this guy right here, uh, they can show hidden tendencies in the market. They can show hidden strength or hidden weakness that might not be visible from price action yet. OK, so your indicator literally is kind of giving you like a heads up, like a warning signal going, hey, 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 look at me over here. Something's going on with the price action. That's not correct. So if price is going up, this guy's going down. And he's trying to give you a warning that something's happening with that price action that may um, that may dictate a reversal or something might be coming soon. OK, so really, once again, can definitely be a leading uh, indicator or a heads up, if you will, as to something happening in the markets. All right. So real quick, let's begin with the definition on what is divergence. So divergence, quite simply, is just a drawing apart as of lines extending from a common center. OK, so if we were to go ahead and draw a divergence here, this is what a divergence would look like. OK, pretty simple. OK, and uh, in trading, a divergence happens when price action and your indicator are kind of out of whack. They're out of sync. They're out of alignment. And so this would happen, for example, when price makes a higher high and yet your indicator that you're using is making a lower high. OK, and when that happens, you have a divergence on your hand. And once again, you have a signal or, you know, early, early warning signal, if you will, kind of telling you, hey, something's going on with this trend. You better go ahead and take a, a look, get, take a heads up on what's going on here. Now, there are three main types of divergences that can be traded. Uh, before I continue, I just want to interject and say that these divergences, they do not guarantee the projected outcome that they signal. OK, so guys, once again, there's no free lunch in the market. Um, there is no holy grail in the market. Divergences are no different. We must always filter divergence signals with other technical indicators, other analysis tools. We're going to talk a little bit more about that here in a moment. OK, but we do have three different types of divergences that can be traded. We have regular divergence, hidden divergence and exaggerated divergence. Now, in regular divergence, what we're doing is we're going ahead of the trend on regular divergence. So what that means is if you have a trend that's going like this, with regular divergence, you're 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 looking to see these potential pullbacks before they happen. 
Okay. And that's what I mean when I say going ahead of the trend. And they are the most common form of divergence. Now, hidden divergences, this is going with the trend. Okay. So once again, if we have that same kind of trend, okay, uptrend, what the hidden divergences are going to show you is where the trend could go ahead and resume. And you might be able to hop on that trend at, at a good area and be able to write it up. Okay. And then um, the exaggerated divergences, this is going with the trend as well. These are a little bit different, and I'm going to get into this more here in a moment, but um, I just wanted to go ahead and at least familiarize you guys with the two more common uh, divergences, which is hidden and regular, okay? So regular divergences, uh, what these are, guys, these are known as classical or original forms of divergence. Um, they're considered a strong reversal signal in an uptrend or in a downtrend. Regular divergence generally occurs when price action is making higher highs or lower lows when the indicator is not, when the indicator is not in line with price action. That's when you see a regular divergence, okay? And also, guys, these divergences are most likely to occur during strong trends and they can signify a weakening in momentum. It's at this point where you might expect to see a pullback or possibly a trend reversal, okay? So in this example here, we have a bullish example, or I should say a bullish divergence, if you will, bullish regular divergence, okay? And what's happening here is we're in a downtrend, and uh, price action is printing lower lows. That's not being confirmed by the indicator. Okay, so here's a lower low here. Here's a lower low here. Okay, but look at the indicator, guys. The indicator is doing higher lows. Okay, now what this is indicating is this is indicating weakness in this overall trend. The indicator right here is trying to tell you guys something's going on with this trend that doesn't look right, okay? There's weakness. Um, it's telling you that selling in this trend right here is becoming less urgent, if you will. Buyers might be starting to step in. They might be emerging within this downtrend. And that's literally what this divergence is trying to tell you. So when the indicator here, guys, is failing to confirm the lower lows on price action, it can either make higher lows, which it's doing in this example, or it can actually go ahead and make double or triple bottoms, which we'll talk about later on, okay? So if your indicator is not matching price like this, if we had our indicator doing this, then we would have no divergence. But when you see your price doing this and your indicator doing this, that's when you know something's going on with that trend, okay? And their uh, potential for a reversal is uh, pretty high could happen. Okay. Bearish side, the exact same thing. We're just going to flip it on its ear. Okay. So uh, here, this is occurring in an uptrend. All right. And really what's happening is we have um, price action, which is printing higher highs, as you can see right here, you can see right here. And the uh, it's not being confirmed by the indicator, because as you can see here, the indicator is actually making lower highs. Okay. And so what's happening is we have a uptrend with a bearish divergence on the indicator, okay? And really guys, what it, once again, what is this indicating? Well, it's indicating that buying in this particular uptrend might be coming less urgent and that sellers may be stepping in, especially here at this point, at the pivot point, sellers can be stepping in uh, to go ahead and take over the market. And you see that because you have a very strong waning of momentum within the indicator. Okay. And really, you know, when the indicator fails to confirm the higher highs on price action and it's making either lower lows or it's making double or triple tops, um, then that's when you know something's going on, guys, and you have to take notice, okay? So just to summarize real quick, um, regular divergence, they do indicate a weakness in price action and can be viewed as an early warning sign that the trend could be coming to an end. Uh, in other words, it's giving you a heads up that a probable trend reversal could occur soon, though it does not indicate when it's going to occur, okay? And um, that's a little bit there about how to... Um, look at your charts and find this type of regular divergence. Now, moving on to hidden divergence. Hidden divergence is very interesting because really it's akin to like a continuation pattern, if you will. It's actually considered a continuation signal in a prevailing trend, okay? So hidden divergence occurs when the indicator is making higher highs or lower lows. I should say higher highs here or lower lows and um, price action is not, 
So these divergences most often occur during times of consolidation or corrections within an existing trend. So we have an existing trend here, we have an existing trend here, and you'll see this action start to happen usually in times of consolidation or during corrections. So like I said earlier, when you have this price action, this overall prevailing trend, let's say is up, hidden divergences, you're going to be looking for them at these swing low points right here. Okay, that's where you're going to be looking for your hidden divergences, stuff like this, okay? And um, really what they're doing is they're indicating that there's still strength left in the overall trend and that literally we're just in a pullback and that the trend's going to resume. So let's go ahead and take a quick look here. In this example, we have bullish hidden divergence. It's occurring during an uptrend um, when the indicator falls below its previous low, aka the indicator is, oops, I'm sorry, wrong. There we go. Um, Literally, the uh, indicator is making lower lows. So we see that here. And this is while price action is making the um, higher, price action is making higher lows. So it's uh, the lows are higher than its previous lows, as you can see here. Okay. And uh, this is telling us that there is still strength left in this uptrend and that this correction is most likely uh, profit taking rather than the emergence of a strong selling pressure in the trend and most likely this is not going to last okay so you know this is telling us hey don't worry about this right here um because we're doing some profit taking here but this trend is definitely going to continue and also keep in mind too that the indicator uh, when it goes in here it's going into oversold territory and generally when indicators get in oversold territory they go and they reverse back up and when they reverse back up obviously price follows right along with them as well too okay so um that uh um that is uh, really at a point in time you can really expect the trend to resume. Now keep in mind, one of the things you always want to do is when you're in these pullbacks, um, you want to wait obviously for your pivot. So you might be waiting. When you see these divergences happen, you might be waiting. You might be waiting on that pivot move and you might be waiting on a, even a break of the most recent high in order to go ahead and get long. Once again, that's going to be your trading um, you know, how you like to trade. Some people like to trade based off of the pivot, uh, break of the prior candle. Other people like to trade based off of the most recent swing high. Uh, once again, that'll be up to you guys, but that's kind of how that works there. Okay. On the bearish side of things, um, literally just the opposite. So this occurs during a downtrend, like we're in here. And, uh, literally what we have is we have the indicator that's making higher highs. And at the same time, price action is making lower highs, as you can see there, which is giving us this divergence. Okay. And um, once again, this is telling us that, hey, the selling has not waned. And this downtrend is going to continue. This downtrend is still strong. Now, the reaction is most likely profit taking rather than the emergence of strong buyers and is most likely to be short lived. So once again, you can expect the overall downturn or excuse me, the overall downtrend to resume. OK, so let's just summarize this up real quick. Hidden divergences can be looked at as continuation signals. They're most likely to occur in the middle of a trend. So once again, I'm just going to use this as an example. Here's the trend. And once again, we're looking at it at these swing lows. So they can be uh, looked at in the middle of a trend, often indicating the end of a pullback within that trend. A lot of time traders like to go ahead and hop on an existing trend after a healthy pullback. These divergences can help signal that and point the way. Um, some traders view hidden divergences as powerful and reliable entry signals, especially when confluence is present. We're going to talk a little bit more about confluence here in a little bit. But once again, guys, just to reiterate, you do not want to trade divergences on their own. You definitely need some other um, technical indicators and other technical analysis tools to be able to go ahead and um, help you verify what it is you're what it is you're seeing in these divergences and that they are actually good signals and good trades to take okay so here we have exaggerated divergences just like reg regular and hidden divergences these exaggerated divergences are developments of price action as compared to their indicators now the difference is that instead of price making a new high or new low as with the other divergences price instead will make double or triple tops or bottoms okay and we'll see that here and we'll see that here now 
Although these divergences are also considered to be less predictive than regular hidden divergences, they're also believed to be stronger candidates. And the reason because of this, guys, is these patterns that we see here, let me just grab the right tool that I can show this to you. These patterns that we see here, like double to uh, double bottoms and double tops, these are considered to be very, very, very bullish or very bearish price action patterns. And this hence is why these divergences are given the name exaggerated divergences. Okay. So real quick, let's go ahead and just, whoops. Sorry guys, my drawing tools are being weird. Give me one second here. There we go. And there we go. My apologies. Okay. So let's just take a look here in this example. We have um, exaggerated um, bullish divergence. And this is occurring when price is making a similar low to the last low, uh, aka a double bottom chart pattern, if you will, while the indicator is actually making a higher low. So we have the indicator going up and we have price kind of going in this like a uh, consolidated kind of sideways action, if you will. It's not really consolidated price action. Let me correct that, guys. Really what it is, it is what it is. It's just a chart pattern where you have price bouncing off of a potential uh, support area here and it's creating a double bottom, which is a very bullish, bullish chart pattern. So you have confluence, which is really important uh, because this price formation, if it's taking place at a support level, it gives it more credence to the exaggerated divergence signal that you're seeing. And in turn, you can see price move higher as it bounces off of this support level or this support area. Okay. And the indicators actually giving you a heads up because as it's making its double bottom here, the second point on its double bottom, look at this. The indicator is making a higher low showing that there is momentum in the indicator that's not being seen in price action. Okay. So hopefully that is clear to you guys as well. And down here, it's the exact same thing where it's just, we're on the bearish side. So in this example, the exaggerated divergence is bearish. Um, and once again, the uh, price is making a uh, similar highs, AKA uh, double tops here. And then the indicator is actually making a lower high, giving you a heads up that the momentum is to the downside and that there's a very, very good chance that price formation is taking place at a resistance level. And if it is at a resistance level, once again, this confluence is very strong now because you have a very bearish uh, double, double top price pattern at a, uh, a, a resistance level. And then of course you have the indicator that is going ahead and showing you that, um, giving you more credence, I should say to this divergence signal, because it's showing that there's momentum and selling pressure to the downside. So we could definitely look for price to go ahead and make a move lower off of this double bounce in this particular area. Okay. So very cool stuff on the exaggerated divergences as well. Keep in mind, they're not as common as the other divergences, but they definitely, definitely do have nice moves when they happen. So um, I probably, you guys are asking, Hey, Ace in your head, what's the best indicator to use? What do I use to chart these divergences? Well, you, there's no shortage of indicators that traders like to use. It almost becomes a little bit of kind of like personal preference. You can use MACD, you can use the lines, you can use the histogram, the stochastics, the RSI, the OBV, the CCI, um, chalk and money flow, money flow index. I personally have charted divergences on every single one of these indicators except chalk and money flow and money flow index. I don't use either of those two, but I have on all of these. So with all the choices, which one's the best? I can't tell you which one's the best for you, but I can tell you which one's the best for me and which one I I like to use and that one is the RSI and the reason why I like to use the RSI guys is because the RSI compares the average gain and the average loss over a certain period of time so high RSI values equal more and stronger bullish candles and bearish candles over a certain amount of uh, of candles so that's your look back period so if I'm using 14 for example and I'm on a daily chart that's 14 days and if I'm on an hourly chart that's 14 hours okay but I'll be able to go ahead and see the um the bullish and bearish candles in terms of the RSI values and how strong or how weak those candles are. Low RSI values, more and stronger bearish candles and bullish candles over the past X number of candles. That will show it to me on the RSI as the RSI will be dipping and showing me that there's some weakness there. Okay. So just to give you an example in a bullish trend, when the RSI makes higher highs during healthy and strong bullish trends, this means that there were more and larger bullish candles in the most recent trend wave than there were compared to the previous trend wave. 
Okay, so when price is making a higher high during a bullish trend, but your RSI begins to make a lower high, it means that the most recent bullish candles that you're seeing in price were not as strong as previous price action and that the trend is actually losing momentum and is showing you that in the RSI. And that's where we get our divergences from. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's where we get our divergences from. So with that being said, I think we're going to demystify a lot of this just by taking a look at the charts. Now, um, I was going to chart these out for you guys live in real time. And unfortunately, um, I did not do that because I didn't want the um, video to go super long. But I just want to show you here on um, the S&P mini uh, S&P 500 E-mini futures. Here is some divergences that I charted um, that I wanted to show you guys. Here is a hidden bearish divergence. So I'm going to actually zoom in on these and we can go kind of left to right and just visit each one of these. And like I said, I did these just before I did the video because I wanted to make sure the video didn't run too long. We're already at 20 minutes and I did not want to do it live because if I did it live, the video would probably be 40 minutes and you guys would probably not watch it all. <laughs> Anyways, this right here, guys, is hidden bearish divergence. So you'll see we have... Um, lower highs on price action. We have um, higher highs on the uh, indicator. And then what happened? We had a bearish move down. Now, granted, we are in an overall longer term uptrend. So let's just take a look at that. And you'll see the uptrend is overall. The, up, the overall trend is up. Okay. But going back here and taking a look at this, this within an, an, an overall longer term uptrend, we actually had a hidden bearish diver divergence signal. Now, intraday, you could have saw this forming. Here you are on this doji candle right here on June 10th. You already see the divergence. The signal's right there on your chart, and you know it's bearish. So you could have easily have looked to go ahead and start taking uh, um, bearish trades, especially if it's intraday. And look at this move we had intraday. Beautiful move down, okay? And it came right down into this yellow line right here. And if you'll notice the two dots that are next to the left and the right, Okay, and you'll notice the two dots here. What is it? What's going on here? They're flat. This is flat and this is going up. This is hidden, bullish, exaggerated divergence. Yes, big mouthful, but that is what this is. Okay, now what happened? Did we get a pop? We got a little pop and then we got a retracement. So once again, guys, no holy grail. This is showing you that with hidden, exaggerated, bullish divergence, we should have gotten a really big move, right? Well, not necessarily because, you know, uh, the the signals are not holy grails. They don't guarantee the move's going to happen. It just says, hey, you want to pay attention to price action and what's happening at this point in time because you may get a move higher up and over, okay? Or I should say up and out. But that didn't happen here. It pulled back. And then look at this. We actually got another hidden bullish divergence signal from this bottom to this bottom and from this bottom to this bottom. And what do you see here, guys? You see price made a um, l uh, lower highs, the, the, and then um, the um, indicator made lower lows. So you got lower highs, lower lows. So you have divergence here, okay? And actually it went to right here. So here you see the dot on the right and you see the dot on the left. You see the dot on the right and the dot on the left. So you can see they're literally... They're literally together there, okay? And then what happened with that? We did get a little bit of a pop up here, okay? And then here we have regular bearish divergence. And look at what happened here. We have uh, higher highs. We have lower highs on the RSI. And look what happened. We're supposed to get a move down, right? Or a pullback, but it didn't happen. Look at price action. It literally consolidated and then continued up, okay? But then before that, we actually had another hidden bullish divergence that started here and went to here. So you see lower highs and you see here lower lows, okay? And then what happened is we actually did get a nice move up here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six day, about a one week move, a little over one week move in the market, okay? So I hope this is helpful for you guys actually seeing it on a real chart and how it works. Here is another example of hidden bullish divergence. And keep in mind, what did I say when I was doing my um, lecture just a few moments ago on the slides? I was telling you that in an overall prevailing uptrend, the bullish hidden, hidden bullish divergences you are going to see at the pullback levels. So remember, price is going to go up and then pull back and then up and then pull back and then up and then pull back. And you're going to get the opportunity to get in at those pivot points. Well, here's those opportunities to get in. You have a pivot point one here. Get in. You have another pivot point here. Get in. 
you have another pivot point here, get in. Okay. And so once again, we have regular bearish divergence in an overall uptrend, very shallow retracement. And then we have hidden bullish divergence right here, which lifted us right back up over another two week period. So guys, I hope this is really kind of driving it home for you here. Last but not least, we have another uh, regular bearish divergence here. And then we have another regular bearish divergence here. We have higher highs. And we have lower highs. And then, of course, we had this nice flush here. And literally, the divergence gave you a heads up. This was going to come. You could have gotten to this candle right here and said, well, I'm going to wait for a break. Let's say below this area here where all these dojis printed. Or heck, even a break below this last swing low. And you could have gotten short and made some money. So anyways, guys, I hope the charts definitely drive it home for you. OK, um, there are definitely some takeaways here that we do want to go ahead and take a look at uh, divergences. They do not always lead to a strong reversal or continuation. Um, also, divergences just signals a loss of momentum does not necessarily signal a complete trend and shift um, when executing a trade with divergences and only divergences. This is never a wise trading decision. So please just don't use divergences and trade on them by themselves. While powerful, they always need to be used as a confirmation tool and never as an actual execution tool. Um, and just like with any other trading strategy, you must have additional confluence factors to confirm any divergence that's been identified. OK, so um, there are also some key takeaways to pay attention to. Divergences are particularly popular due to their predictive and leading, not lagging nature, which is very cool. Very few things in the market actually lead. Um, and this is one of them. Uh, divergences also give an idea about the direction you should be looking for when considering an entry on a particular time frame. And they show a level on the chart that we can actually focus on and wait for an entry signal. And once again, just to grab this chart real quick, I'm going to show this to you here. We saw the signal happen with regular bearish divergence. We could have just sat here at this point. We could have waited and waited knowing that we already saw the indicator telling us something's up with this with this market move and and momentum's waning and uh, uh there's a good chance we could see some type of a pullback or a rollover we could have just waited and got in whenever we chose here at this break of, of the last uh, most recent uh pivot low would have been a great area to short short this candle you get some consolidation here and then you get a flush down money made okay so very, very cool stuff there. And um, last but not least, advanced technical analysis methodologies dictate using divergences in relationship to other tools like Bollinger Bands, Keltner Channels, support and resistance levels, trend lines, Fibonacci retracements or extensions, and candlestick patterns to form confluence. You need these things to form confluence. Only once you have confluence should you go ahead then and consider a trade idea based off of a divergent signal. So you guys have to have your technical analysis tools that you confirm these signals on. Once again, please do not ever just trade the signals on their own. So what I've decided to do here, guys, is kind of like um, bring up some some graphs that I think might be able to help you uh, solidify these concepts. Feel free to pause the video, take a screen cap of them and analyze them uh, with your charts and find the divergences. Just go on to a naked chart like I did and just find these divergences. And once you get familiar with drawing them, oh, my gosh, guys, you are going to just it's going to become like second nature. And you're just going to see these divergences all over and the potential trading opportunities that they go ahead and offer you. OK, um, I do not take credit for any of these graphics that I'm putting up. These were graphics that I had on saved on my computer and I found them at some point or another somewhere on the Internet. And I'm just kind of sharing with you guys some of these files out of my own personal archives. And so once again, screen cap those, take a picture of them. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I know it's been a 28 minute video, but I did my best to get through it as quickly as possible and not leave out any of the good stuff. Thank you so much, guys, for helping my channel become what it is. I started with zero subs. I'm now up to 1,233. And in the last 30 days, I've had over 3,000 views on my videos and 291 channel comments. And I do respond and answer to every single comment that is left 
to me uh, by you guys. I really am humbled and appreciate you um, subscribing, enjoying my content, and allowing me to help you in your trading journey. Please, 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 in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, subscribe to my channel. Um, make sure to click that bell icon so you get alerted when I have new videos coming out. I have more content coming soon, guys, a lot more content on the way. And then uh, also be sure to check out my other trading videos. I have a ton of trading videos on my channel. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know how things are going with you. Let me know if you got any questions on this particular topic. Be sure to subscribe and uh, take care, guys. Be safe. I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Bye-bye.